G'day. Um, so I had a, um, I went for a run yesterday. So, so what's happened is between running on, uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, um, and then running on, sorry, wrong, running Saturday morning. Cause what I did is I started heading out and then I looked at the performance number and the performance number went from two to one to zero. No, that's right. I had a big break. No, I went two to one to zero and I was just like, what the hell am I doing? So I turned around and come back again. So listening to my Garmin too much and what's happened is after that, I then did some homework on how Garmin does the VO2 max. And um, I, I constantly look at this to try and figure out a little bit of confirmation bias, and I try and search out what I want to hear, but there was nothing that really explained the way why my VO2 was going down that I understood and that I actually, that made sense to me. Not that I didn't understand it, but it just didn't make sense to me that the VO2 was going down and I was actually feeling okay with my runs and, and that performance number when I was heading out. So I had numerous people saying, get off that Garmin, stop looking at the figures, leave your watch off and go for a run with it off. And then I ran into um, someone at the party that I went to and then basically they had the same experience as I, I did and he deleted the performance um, data and also, um, well, he didn't deceit, de de delete the um the, the status, but I actually, what I ended up doing anyway in a nutshell is um, deleting both those things and then going for a 16K run yesterday without those figures because, you know, I've got time um, to, you know, if I can feel that I'm sort of going backwards, if I feel that my fitness is not getting better, then I'll listen to that more than I'll listen to my Garmin. Anyway, I went for a good run yesterday. It was just an easy run. Um, Kept it around the 130 mark with my heart rate, but also kept an eye on the speed as well, which I generally wasn't doing. I was just keeping an eye on the heart rate. And my heart rate didn't really jump up that much. And I was, I was around my easy speed um, with the heart rate at 130. So, um, but, you know, I haven't got that good data coming back to me saying, you, you're not doing any good. And I'm at the end of it, I didn't have the data I took it off my app as well in regards to my status. So um, I'm just going to do it without having that those readings and I'll just do it according to what I know and how I feel without the Garmin doing my head in. Anyway, we'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. I feel a little bit free. I feel a little bit unencumbered, um, which is good. And my legs feel like I've had a good run yesterday too. So I don't feel sore or anything like that. My plantar fasciitis is sort of playing up a little bit. Um, but that's probably because I hadn't been for a run for a bit and then all of a sudden went for a run yesterday. Um, because I think that's also key that I need to keep on my feet so it doesn't sort of relax into uh, not having running instead of staying off it all together and then it sort of injures further, if that's the right way to put it. Anyway, see ya.